And we are back. This is Project Soar Week 5, series of online academic reviews of Clade Learning Modules. Kanina ay ating natunghayan ang pamalinaw at maayos sa pagpapaliwanag ni Mr. Viluria ng Advanced Lesson for Grade 10. Ngayon naman, ating kilalanin kung sino ang ating magiging teacher reviewer for Grade 11. Ang teacher reviewer natin for Grade 11 ay nagtapos ng Bachelor of Secondary Education major in mathematics at Jose Rizal University in the year 2012. He finished his Master of Arts in Teaching Mathematics at Eulogio Amang Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology in the year 2019. He earned his 12 units of Doctor of Education, major in Educational Management and Leadership at Arellano University. He is a high school mathematics teacher in Ilaya Barangka Integrated School for 8 years. Our teacher reviewer for grade 11, Mr. Carl Godwin De La Cruz. Thank you so much, Sir Jonathan, for that wonderful introduction. Good morning, students, and to all our home learning partners. I'm Sir Carl, your teacher for advanced lesson in week 5 for grade 11, general mathematics. So get ready with your modules, ball pen and papers, so we can start. Masayang mag-aral, tayo na tatuto. Okay, again, good morning everyone. For today's topic, we're gonna discuss about stocks in business mathematics, quarter two, week five. So, simulan na natin. Okay, so let me give you first the objectives of the lesson. At the end of this lesson, I hope you can define and illustrate stocks. Number two, familiarize some terminologies related to stocks. And then most especially, we can calculate dividend, dividend share, stock yield ratio, and amount of coupon. Huwag na natin patagalin, simulan na natin. So let's define first stocks. Stocks are shares in the ownership of the company. Owners of stocks may be considered as part owners of the company, where they will receive dividends or share of earnings of the company. So example, mahilig ako sa bisikleta. Tapos, pangarap kong magkaroon ako ng sarili kong bike shop or bicycle company. Siyempre, kailangan mo ng kapital para iran yung business. So, ang nangyari is, inaral ko yung negosyo na pag ko na ang kailangan kong kapital is 1 million. Para sa lahat na magiging expenses at kailangan sa negosyo para mapatakbo yun. Ang problema, ang problema is, kulong ako ng kapital. Meron lang ako ng 100,000. So, ibig sabihin, kulang pa ako ng 900,000. Kasi 1 million minus 100,000 is 900,000. So, yung 900,000 na yon is pwede kong iutang sa banko. ba Pwede. Pangalawang paraan is pwede kong i-offer yung company ko in public. Wherein, they will buy a portion of my company. So, yun dun pumapasok yung stocks 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 so example nakakuha ako ng 9 investors so bawat 9 investors ay nagbigay ng tag 100,000 so 9 times 100,000 that's 900,000 plus my 100,000 that's 1 million so pwede na akong makapag start ng business so ganun yung concept ng stocks and shares so since hindi lang ako yung owners ng company, lahat ng investors, pati yung mga stockholders ay bahagi na ng company. Kapag kumita yung kumpanya, kikita din sila ng certain portion kung ilan yung shares nila doon sa aking company. So ganun yung pinaka-concept ng stocks. So next is, stocks can be bought or sold as its current price called market value. When a person buys some shares, the person receives a certificate with the corporation's name, owner's name, and number of shares, and par value per share. Kasi tayong mga tao, o kahit sino man, is pwede tayong makabili ng stocks or share ng company. At pwede mo rin itong ipagbili. Ngayon, once na makabili ka ng shares ng isang company, ikaw ay makakatanggap ng certificate ng stocks with corporation's name, owner's name, and number of shares kung ilan yung shares na binili mo, and par value. So lahat yun ay naka-indicate dun sa iyong stock certificate. Okay, here we have types of stocks. Number one is preferred stock, and number two is common stock. Pag sinabi natin preferred stock, it is a stock where the dividend set by the corporation is indicated at the same time 
the stock was issued. So, kapag nakabili ka ng stock, naka-indicate doon yung dividend or yung percent na kikitain mo. Okay, so, naka-fix yung dividend. Okay, for example, kung 5%, 4%, kapag kumita yung kumpanya, makakatanggap pa ng 4% depende doon sa shares na meron ka sa company. Pagating naman sa common stock, common stock does not have a set of dividends. There is no guarantee that dividend will be paid to either class of stocks. Dito sa common stocks kasi, uh, nakakakuha ka ng dividendo or dividend. Depende kapag diniklear na ng company kung magkano yung dividend para sa'yo. Pero, definitely makakakuha ka ng dividend. Yun nga lang, hindi siya stable kung kailan dumadating ang dividend na makukuha mo bilang isang stockholder. Unlike sa preferred, fixed yung dividend ibibigay sa iyo so na ay magiging isang stockholder kaya sa stock market mahirap makabili ng preferred stock kadalasan ng mga binebenta sa stock market common stocks ibig sabihin mas volume yung quantity ng common stock compared doon sa preferred stock so dito naman these are the terminologies related to stocks number one is dividend this is the share in the company Pag sinabi nating dividend, ito yung kikitain mo bilang isang stockholder sa isang kumpanya. Next is dividend per share. This is the ratio of the dividends to the number of shares. So example, ikaw ay meron kang 100 shares sa isang kumpanya, tapos yung kumpanya na yun ay merong 40,000 shares. So para makuha mo yung ratio mo sa kabuang kumpanya, so gusto mong malaman kung gaano kalaki, yung share mo sa company is i-divide mo yung 100 shares mo dun sa total number of shares which is 40,000. So that is 0 0.0025 or that is equal to 1 fourth percent. So yun yung dividend per share mo dun sa total shares of the company. So next is stock market. This is the place where stock can be bought or sold. So yung stock market, dito ka makakabili ng stocks or dito ka rin pwedeng magbenta ng stocks mo or ng share mo through the broker. So yung broker, siya yung parang middleman na mag sa negotiation between you as a buyer to the seller. Next is market value. Market value is the current price of a stock at which it can be sold. Ito yung current price ng stock na pwede mong mabili sa stock market. And last is what we call par value. This is the per share amount as stated on the company certificate. So makikita mo to dun sa stock certificate mo kapag ikaw ay isa sa mga stockholder ng company. It is determined by the company and remain stable over time. Like for example, ang par value ng yung stock certificate is 50 pesos and then meron kang 100 shares. So, ibig sabihin, uh, ang total investment mo is, is 5,000 pesos. Tsaka yung par value, it will remain stable over time. So, kung 50 pesos yon, dun sa ikaw ay maging part ng isang company, par value ng kada share is 50 pesos sa lahat ng investors or stockholders ng company. Okay, so let's have an example on how to compute dividend per share. Number one, a certain financial institution declared a 30 million dividend for a common stock. If there are total of 700,000 shares of common stock, how much is the dividend per share? So, para makuha natin yung dividend, what we're going to do is we're going to divide the total dividend divided by the total shares. So, pag dinivide natin yung 30 million by 700,000, ang dividend per share natin is equals to 42.86 pesos. So, like for example, kung meron kang 100 shares dun sa company na yon, meron kang 4,286 pesos dun sa total dividend ng company. Next, number two, a certain corporation declare a 3% dividend on a stock with a par value of 500 pesos. Mrs. Lignan, owns 200 shares of stocks with a par value of 500 pesos. How much is the dividend she received? Ang given natin, our dividend percentage is equals to 3%. Ayun yung dineclare ng corporation. Ang par value ng corporation na to is equal to 500 pesos. Ngayon, ang number of shares ni Mrs. Lingan is 200. So, para makuha natin yung dividend niya, 
we're going to multiply 500 times the 3% which is 15 pesos. Kasi yun yung magiging, yun yung dividend niya sa kada share. Eh meron siyang 200 shares. So since there are 200 shares kay Mrs. Lingan, the total dividend niya is 15 pesos per share times 200 kasi meron siyang 200 shares is equal to 3,000 pesos. In summary, dividend is equal to dividend percentage times par value times number of shares. That is equal to 3,000 pesos. Yung nakuha ni Mrs. Lingan sa kanyang investment. So let's have our last example. Our last example, a corporation A with a current market value of 52 pesos gave a dividend of 8 pesos per share for its common stock. Company B with a current market value of 95 pesos gave a dividend of 12 pesos per share. Use the stock shield ratio to measure how much dividend shares holders are getting in relation to the amount invested. Okay, so kukunin natin yung stock yield ratio ng Corporation A and stock yield ratio ng Corporation B. So punta muna tayo sa Corporation A. Ang given natin sa dividend per share is 8 pesos. Ang market value is 52 pesos. So para makuha natin yung stock yield ratio, this is the ratio between the dividend per share over the market value. So ang dividend per share natin is equal to 8 pesos divided by market value which is 52 pesos. So that is equivalent to 0 0.1538 or 15.38%. So, tingnan natin sa kabilang corporation. Corporation B, the dividend per share, which is equal to 12 pesos. The market value is equal to 95 pesos. So, to find the stock yield ratio, we're going to divide dividend per share by market value. So, that is 12 divided by 95. And that is equal to 0 0.1263 or 12.63%. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? A corporation A has a higher stock yield ratio than corporation B. Thus, each peso would earn you more if you invest in corporation A than corporation B. So, kitang-kita nyo naman yung percentage no? dito sa corporation A which is 15.38 that is greater than sa corporation B which is 12.63%. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much. And that ends our week 5 advanced lesson for grade 11 general mathematics. So if you have questions, you may send us a message to our official Facebook page, Math Team Mathematics Teachers Association of Mandaluyong, or you may send a message to your mathematics teachers. Again, I'm Carl Godwin G. Delacruz, saying, Matsayong mag-aral, tayo ng matulong.